I think with Prime Minister Modi, with Captain Modi, there's a lot of net practice. I mean, uh, the, the, yeah, the net practice starts at six o'clock in the morning and goes on uh, till till fairly late. I want to quote from what uh, Mike Pompeo recently said about you in his book. He called you, and I'm quoting, a professional, rational, and a fierce defender of his boss and his country. And since you um, believe in cricket analogies, with a, with a captain like Prime Minister Modi, how do you really set your field? Do you play an aggressive game and you know, close in on the batsmen, or do you focus more on, on guarding the boundaries mostly? Well, I think with Prime Minister Modi, with Captain Modi, there's a lot of net practice. I mean, uh, the, the, yeah, the net practice starts at six o'clock in the morning and goes on uh, till till fairly late. Uh, but uh, again, you know, there's also, and and I'm sure Kevin would agree. I mean, if you have uh, a particular bowler who uh, you trust in or you've seen perform, you would give them the latitude. Uh, the you throw the ball to them at the right moment. You would trust them to to deal with that particular situation. And I think uh, uh, in that sense, Captain Modi does give uh, his bowlers uh, a certain amount of uh, freedom. I mean, uh, he expects you to to take that wicket uh, if he gives you the chance to do it. But uh, I would also say some of it is. Uh, watching the difficult decisions being taken. You know, Kevin was speaking about the pandemic. I mean, uh, all of us, if we look back at the last uh, three years, you know, the decision to lock down was a very, very tough decision. But it had to be taken at that point of time. And if we now look back, what would have happened if we had not taken that decision? The decision to, uh, to actually uh, push the uh, vaccines in the manner, the vaccine production in the manner in which it was done. Because, you know, uh, 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 it's, it's something which most people naturally wouldn't know. One of the reasons why Tony and I have been so closely in touch was through the pandemic we were working uh, the, the raw materials uh, flow uh, for the, uh, for the uh, AstraZeneca, for the Covishield vaccine. Uh, so, uh, you know, to, to have the confidence to, uh, to be able to ha devise a program to vaccinate so much people. Or even I would say the call uh, to uh, send vaccines abroad. There was a lot of questioning of that. I mean, today everybody says, yes, great idea, you know, we gave vaccines to a hundred countries. And it was a tough call because at that time, remember, so to me a lot of whether it's sports, any, any competitive situation, is that willingness to take the difficult calls, stand by those calls, uh, give your people the confidence that you will stand by them when they take the risks. This is all about competition and leadership. 